stop. That's not a good sign. Probably wasn't because that's up. going on here oh don't you just love being a mobile mechanic working outside in the wet doing horrible jobs on a 2007 Corsa the alternator is hiding right in behind there I've got a brand new one to stick in but it looks wrong but the problem is I cannot tell until I get it out <sighs> stay in school don't be as stupid as me don't be a mechanic Right, an alternator you say, that's simple enough you say, it's only a couple of bolts or a couple of connections at the back, should be a very simple job, but not in this case, engine mount has to come off because the fan belt is wrapped around the engine mount, engine mount has to come off to get into the alternator, anyway, uh, just a nightmare, it doesn't need to be like this, First thing I'm going to do is take off the airbox and the connecting pipes because we need. Oh, I'm going to have to get a thing on that. The sensor. I was supposed to be doing this tomorrow because I'm kind of a bit late to start this and I could run out of light. But I thought to myself, if I can get a head start on this now, there's another job cancelled. I could have an easy day, well, I could go at home and have an easy rest of the day. But I thought, no, do you know what? Let's try and get this done. Or at least started. Seven mil spanner to undo the man of uh, the pipe going to the car. There's no room to take it off. Of course, there isn't. I mean, just give me one of them drops. Yeah, dog can see the rabbit a bit better. Right, so hopefully you can see what I mean. This is the engine mount here, and as you can see, the pulley goes in and over it. So this has to come off to replace the fan belt. Not necessarily to get the alternator out, but it would be easier because we could pull the engine this way slightly. But to definitely do the fan belt, to change it, which we are doing because we're putting a new alternator on, the engine mount has to come off so that means it has to be supported underneath but i think before i do that because i don't know if i'm going to have time to do it all and what i mean by that is i don't want to leave my jack under here at night and i also don't want to have to put all that back together if i take it off so i might i'm going to cut the fan belt off because we've already got one for it and i'm going to see if i can get the alternator out Right, brand new Conti fan belt. Conti engine. Let's just cut this belt off. Boom. Alright. Just leave it there for a minute. It's only two bolts bit one of the bolts i can see already you can see I'm trying to get a camera in see that big spring that's the tensioner but one of the bolts is in behind the tensioner <laughs> so i have to take the tensioner off as well and i can't see it all and they're a bastard because when you take off that bottom bolt of the tensioner the spring comes off <sighs> well if it doesn't come off it springs out anyway 
Oh, what a disaster. Everything about this is a fucking disaster. It would be easier if I take off the, not only do I take off the engine mic, if I take off this plate as well, because then I could see everything. Hmm, bastard. Right, I've got my jack underneath with a piece of wood supporting the sump, and we're gonna now do it because I just decided why not, because I can't really go any further without doing it. So, need a couple of inverted torques, E18 and an E14. So let's get these off first. This will take the engine mount off, and then we need to try and take the engine, um, try and take the engine support off then, or the engine bracket off the engine. Hopefully I can do that, I don't know yet. one thing off I mean that had to come off regardless but now can I take off this we've got one there hmm, I don't think I'm gonna have the room I still can't see that bracket but actually that has to come off to do the fan belt wow yeah oh someone's been at that look at that they've damaged the threads in there holy moly that's from um, not having the engine upright and screwing that bolt down fucking idiots all right that's as far as i can lift the engine up so It's just not going to work. Bagger. Right, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Fucking. Oh. Fucking torch. Stay on me. Oh, you fucking wank stain. do it that way I don't have my uh, torque spanners with me it's just typical but shouldn't need them normal spanner will do I say it well let's see now this is 11 mil spanner but they do work I just don't know how many bolts there are on here and can I actually get to all of them. Right, I'm going to have to get in way of the camera now. So I'm going to use this spanner to get here because my head just gets in the way. You're not going to see what I'm doing. See if I can get it off and then uh, I'll turn the camera back on. Right, it's kind of worked and kind of not. I was able to get the other one. I lowered the engine a little bit. I just got underneath at the front with the 11mm spanner and I was able to get them all out. But this one is now stopping me and the problem is i can't really jack up the engine anymore because what i'm doing is i'm actually jacking up the car can't get that one out but that one doesn't need to come out this one needs to come out
I don't know. I truly don't know. It's going to have to go down, I'm guessing this. And for it to go down, I need to get all the bolts out. But, I can't. I'm losing light fast, the chassis leg is stopping me. Right. How are we supposed to feel that out? just a few mil shorter it would clear it it's just in a couple of threads the bottom bolt is okay I can't get it out but it's okay but this one I wonder if I can push the engine towards me over this lip there's no way this engine is lifting another half an inch it just isn't it just isn't nope it's gonna break something truly pisses me off about these are design cars. Like seriously, the fuck are you thinking?
can't even bring it further to here. And how is it, is it going to have to be lifted up or pushed down? There's a big bracket in the way of it, in the middle. Oh my fucking god. Can't get the barn bolt out because of the cover, this fucking cover here. And I can't jack the car because I've only got one jack with me. And it's underneath the fucking engine. Oh, this is a fucking joke. Right, what I've managed to be able to do is put the engine down to its lowest possible. And then I've managed to get this second bolt. Oh, I was just about to say to get that second bolt out, but I haven't because it's now stuck on the lip of the chassis leg again. Oh, for fuck's sake. I tell you, this is why I need a camera crew following me around because that'd be the biggest thing in the world because if you just saw the screaming and swearing <laughs> I tell you anyway I managed to get all three bolts out look at the size of them ridiculous this still will not come out there's no way this will come out and yes I could do it with maybe with not taking this out because I could twist this and get the fan belt in but it's just making my life a lot harder with the tensioner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the pulley I can't see any other way around at the minute. Hopefully now, that will come off. fucking stupid man but at least now I can get to the tensioner which is what I really wanted to get to what a fucking joke of a design absolute fucking joke before I go any further I'm just going to disconnect the battery Just like that. Now you'll see what I mean. Because of the spring of the tensioner is covering one of my bolts. This is the tensioner here. This is one of the bolts. I can undo that bolt and take this off. And it's just going to be easier for me now I've got all this room. I'm trying to fight against that bracket because it's just going to make it very very difficult i will leave the camera on but i don't think you're going to be able to see what i'm doing i'm just releasing this bolt here for the tensioner hopefully it's just one i think it is Should really put a bit of tension on this. Push down on the pulley. So this doesn't just go. I can't remember, there's a little lip. I think I've done one of these before. I honestly can't remember. I've maybe maybe I haven't done one of these, but I've maybe done one saying an Astra or something with this type of spring. This type of spring looks familiar, but I can't remember 100% to be honest. Seriously, don't do this. 
There we go. Right. What's stopping this now? What the fuck is crap? Hmm. Still, I thought that would come off. Maybe there is. I can't quite tell or feel. If it is, it's a different size. I'm not careful, I'm going to get myself blocked very quickly against the chassis leg. Maybe get this on. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, I don't think you can. beyond fucking ridiculous. E14 they look like, yep. At least now. Oh come on, spin you fucking brick. Wow, that's tight. Like, scary tight.
those things. Yeah, that bolt's been damaged. Right, will this come out now? And how many wires have I got at the back and how long are they? Can I get to them if I can get it out and twist it? Or do I have to get it from the back? Oh, it's still not over. Try it out the way. Well, well, looking at that, I'll show you something in a second. Oh, I forgot to mention, I never, I never diagnosed this. I was just told to come and change. change the alternator so I never diagnosed this but I can see an issue straight away right let's try and get to this and I think the one I have got is wrong as well this makes everything so much better as Camera's still on, I think it is. I want to show you this coming out. How the fuck did you get fucking stuck, you fuck? Unbelievable. It's now stuck. Oh my god. It's stuck between the anti roll bar and the. This is a joke, man. Look at that, the back's gone completely off it. Not that the back is waterproof or anything daft like that, but yeah. Ah, well there's the diode packed anyway, you can see the diodes in it for the old ripple. But like I said, the one I've got I think now is way too big. Right, maybe not. Now, this one is a 100 amp. The one that came out was only a 90. And it is physically bigger, the guts of it, but the actual frame isn't. So I think we're gonna be all right. Just wanna see if it fits.
Right, and there we go. It actually fits in place. And it's going to reduce a lot more. Well, it, it won't be, it'll only reduce what it needs, but it's capable of reducing a lot more. So this one will just be ticking over a lot less. So this one will have a lot less strain and it. it should last a hell of a lot longer. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing next. I'm just going to put the clip back in, put the bolts, put the uh, clip and the main wire back in and put the two bolts back in. And I'm running out of light. Oh, this just gets better, doesn't it? Alternator fits, everything's fine, but I can't screw it into it. It's got no retaining knot on it. Look at this one. I tried to get these out and they're just completely seized. But these ones have a nut in the back with threads, but they also have this thing to stop them from turning. I tried to get them out to see if I could put them in the other one. They're seized in that one. If you hit these too hard and you snap the tabs, I'm, I'm stuck with this alternator. It's not cheap. I've now got a 350 pound jack underneath this on a main fucking road. Every bastard can see it. Oh, this is just a fucking nightmare, man. Right, it is the next day. My jack is still down there, which is good. And we have now a genuine, brand new alternator. So, it is still, it's a 70 amp now rather than a 100 amp but it has the right connections on. Even though the 100 amp fitted, they just didn't have the right connections on. The only problem is, this is more expensive than I originally quoted the customer. So now, I've got to speak to the customer and see if it's okay. Because I already gave a price, and this is just, this is the annoying thing about it. So now I have to tell the customer, that price I gave you, it is now unfortunately more. And that causes issues with some customers, and it just causes a problem. It's a nightmare. Um, I'm not even going to get covered for everything because I had to go back and get this and you know I can't charge for my time or anything like that so I'm already out uh, but sometimes the customer doesn't realise that so we'll have to see how it goes. I might have to eat the extra price on this as well which is just frustrating. It's not my fault and it's not the customer's either but it, again it isn't my fault. So I'll tell you how it goes in a few minutes. Is it just me or does this look like a face with the old Chelsea's grin on it look? You got a little bit of a tuft of hair there. There's the eyes, there's the nose, there's the smile, and there's the old Chelsea grin. Anyway, I've been waiting now 20 minutes for the customer to come out before I put this in, and I can't really wait anymore because I've got things to do. I'm just gonna have to stick this in and tell him this might not go down well. But I'm gonna get it in place. You can't see what I'm doing first, but let me get it in place and then we'll turn the camera on. Okay, we got it in. I could maybe a film getting in, to be honest, but the camera's laying across it now where I can put this in, but I maybe couldn't really put that in with the camera being there, but, but we'll try and stick this back in now. E12. It's gonna have to, oh, can I? Can I screw that in first a little bit? Oh, what fell? Let me guess, the fucking bolt. Oh, of course it did. Oh. Problem is, the bottom is not going to line up now because it needs to be compressed. So I have to put the bottom in first. It's easier to line up the top one by compressing it is going to be my guess. Does that go in a hole or what? It kind of looks like it's supposed to. Something like that. Right, now the camera's in the way. Hold on. Right, it's only hand tight. But I've now got to compress it. Which I can hope to do with my hands. Can get this in. Yes. Yes, I can. Let's span on that first. The other problem is I can't get my jack out because I took the handle off to make it a bit less obvious it was there. The part where the handle connect connects to is lifted right up and I don't know if I'm going to have enough strength to actually physically lift the little piece up 
which will jack the engine up even more to get the jack in. So that's going to be more fun, but I'm not worried about that yet. Let's just get this in. I still haven't told the customer about the extra price because he hasn't come yet. And I just cannot wait any longer, so it could be a problem. Right, so that's in. Really need to maybe get the uh, fan belt on there, or part of it anyway. How am I going to? Oh shit, I didn't think of that. I need to crush this down, well not crush it down, but I need to move it. Like that. Right, so I can get the fan belt on, but I haven't got this pulley on, and I can't put this pulley on until I get the engine mount on. But yet, then I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to see this to pull that down. Holy shit! This is a joke, an absolute fucking joke. How am I going to do this? Brilliant. How am I going to do this? Oh. Oh. Fucking arsehole. Right, this has to go on first. There's definitely no way around that. How does this... So it goes on this way, but it won't fit there. Of course it won't. Oh, for sake, man. <sighs> I 
What an absolute fucking wank of a thing. I've just spent the last hour trying to free my fucking jack. Unfucking believable. And look, when they painted this, they left the threads in there and they just painted over everything. Can you believe that? Fuck's sake. Still can't get this fucking thing in. I've jacked up a bit more now, will that help? Yeah. Now I need to get this in and around there like that. And we now somehow need to get this pulley on. I'm just putting all three bolts on just in case because sometimes they can only go on one way the way the bolts line up and I don't want to get all this on and realise where the fuck is that bolt gone now I've had all three of them and now one's fucking missing oh this is just getting better and better isn't it isn't it fuck this shit the fucking bolt has just disappeared like seriously where the fuck I took all three of them out and I put them there. And I can see the hole lines up. Where the fuck is that gone? Why do I do this fucking job? Why? Seriously questioning being a mechanic. Seriously. Hold on, why the fuck is that fitting on? It's not on the bottom. Oh, and it's still not on right there. See? So I need it to go around the second one. Can I even do that? This can't fucking bow. I'm fucking believing it. On the battery. Like, what the fuck? supposed to push that down now oh, can I get into it this way okay. which way do I need to go 
is not moving now and it was before. Oh shit. Oh, it's that way. I've got to go up. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing now. Oh, what the fuck? Why isn't that moving now? It was moving before, but now it's not. Are you not moving? Turn the camera off because you're not seeing what I'm doing and I'm just getting seriously fucking angry. The bolt is damaged and I couldn't get anything on it. I can't get the proper socket on it. I haven't bought my proper torque spanners with me, but I remembered I had these in the van. These are supposed to be ratchets, but they just don't ratchet, not one of them. When I first got them, uh, I don't know if they're supposed to, no, maybe not ratchet, but kind of slip off the socket. Anyway, they don't work. Not that I can see. And it's got these really weird 
patterns on them and it's grabbed that damaged bolt and it's done it. I have never been so glad to buy a broken tool in my life. And I got a complete set and they don't work. I don't know if I'm using them wrong, but I don't think I am. Oh my fucking God. I cannot believe that worked. This is the worst, stupidest, most fucking wank of a thing I have ever seen in my life. Couple of problems. I still haven't told the customer because I don't know where he is. And I've now got to get these bolts in. One of them will go in fairly handy, which is this one, I believe, yeah, but the rest will not. This has to be further down there. Oh, I can just kind of, before I do that. What I will do is, I'll just give them a bit of a nip. See, look, they move that much, but they don't ratchet. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing next, and I'm going to try and fit. Oh, I knew you were going to fucking fall. Right, I've managed to get that one in. I've, I've taken out this one again, and I've managed to be able to lift that up, and I can get that in at an angle. Once it's in there, it's okay. It, it will pass the leg. You just need to physically get it in. So now I can put this one in, and then we can... I don't know what about the bottom yet. I'm not sure. So wish me luck. Oh, right, got them all in. That one's not tight. Just to tighten one more. I managed to tighten two of them from the bottom. And this one. Oh. I'm going to just find on this one. I tell you, like I said, them tools that were broken uh, turned out to be fucking brilliant. Right. As you know from here, these threads are already damaged because I'm guessing, well, I'm not guessing, I know I'm right. Someone had, there was a gap here and they put a air tool on it and they've screwed, screwed it up. So what you can do is this is way too high now but I also know that oh, these threads are bad. It's not good. But I also know that I'm not putting any pressure on them. So if I screw them down now where there's no pressure on them, I'm not lifting the engine up to meet it. Now the trick is not to tighten these fully because you might need a bit of movement to line up the other bolts. You can put it where it originally was with the shiny bits, but it doesn't necessarily always go back that way. 
Now the rain's started. It's great. It's wet enough as it is. Fucking weather. It's not tight by any means, but I just want to lower this down slowly now. Easy. up a little bit now I can screw these home and we should be good I have to put my camera away now because with the extra batteries it's not waterproof uh, I don't like them threads down in there but I have to tell the customer there's nothing I can do at the minute I just want to loosely put this in place because I want to put that sensor on just so I don't have to plug a scanner tool in if the light comes on Let's start this and see if it charges. Like I said, I never diagnosed this, so I don't know. I don't know if the bash is even flat. Can't be something I've left off, is there? I don't think I've left anything off. is catching all oh, the smell it must not be on right it slipped off oh fuck it slipped off The tension is a bit dodgy. It felt a little bit dodgy, but it kind of felt all right. And I, I got it back on. Let's see if this is charging. It's started now anyway. It's not squeaking, which is what we want. But is it charging? Yes, it is. 
you can see that. Charging with no load. Let's put it under pressure now. Now it's under pressure. And yeah, 14 14.1, 14 14.12, 14 14 14.10. It is fine, it is charging. Oh, you see what amp is pulling. Thirty amps. You can see there. What I really like about this, you can put the amps and the voltage at once. Ready? So we've got 14 volts at 30 amps. Awesome. It's charging. Right, it's all good. All back together. Everything is happy. Fan belt is now good. I obviously didn't get it on right. I thought I did, but I obviously didn't. Or it is just the dodgy. Um, tensioner could be a bit of both I honestly don't know but look it's on it's actually a lot easier to get it from underneath the tensioner get it from underneath than it was for me doing it on top but it's all done I tell you if I had a proper camera crew following me around and actually filming you don't need to see the mechanics side just me screaming like a fucking god knows what I'd be so popular I know I would <laughs> anyway look it's done it's charging it's all good. I don't want to go near this fucking thing again. When that fan belt goes, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. All that work just to put a fan belt on is ridiculous. But as always, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget, things up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, the N36 for the next one. For it. I wish me luck for me test, even though the time you see this video is going to be at least a year past. But anyway, wish me luck.